All right, guys. Um, back with the cars for the Roberts Lions Good Neighbor Days Demolition Derby. Adam is in working on his car, working on trying to get things. What we're getting things wired up, secured out of the way, right? Yeah, we always do just the simplest of wiring. Obviously, there's a lot less that can go wrong when you do that. But we just throw things in here right away to make sure it works. There's no sense in doing two hours and a nice wiring job and then the car not run and you have to tear it all apart. Put it back in. We've learned that lesson. So just do the bare minimum. Put your battery cables in. Run a hot wire just by twisting it with your fingers for your fuel pump and your fan. And once you know everything works, the car's in, the very last thing we do is actually wire everything, tape it all, zip tie it, get it out of the way. So while he's doing that, everything on his car, I think you're, you're pretty much set, right Adam? Yeah, I got a couple spots to weld um, up in the front end that are easier now that we've got the diggers on there. And that's it. Cool. So I've been plugging away on mine a little bit, doing a little bit of welding this morning. Um, you'll be able to see I'm getting mine set up just a little bit different uh, than Adam does. I've just put the threaded rod there and one back there on the strut tower. Same thing there. I've still got to do the one on the strut tower there, but I figured what the hell, I might as well come grab the camera, bring you guys along. Um, we'll set up a time lapse here shortly. Sorry, I'm not going to do a ton of talking because it is 91 degrees outside so we're going to turn a couple fans on in here it's going to make the noise pretty bad on the on the camera but um you'll be able to see what we're doing i've got plenty of space where i can set the camera out behind us so we should be able to get a pretty decent view i hope um as i finish getting things set up on the front end of my car um, you can see i laid the wiring over the top sort of to get it all secured cut holes put the hosey uh, hose around the fuel lines make sure everything's safe there um, so everything is pretty well set. I've still got to cut the holes in my hood. It's sitting up there on top of the car. Uh, and I've still got to secure a bunch of stuff inside. So I'm going to get the camera here set up on the tripod so that you guys can see what we're doing and get back to work.
All right, just taking a minor break for a uh, FYI, don't do what I do type of thing. If you're gonna start burning your holes through, make sure you take your heat shield out first, genius. That's just a part of Russian. Thought that would have been something that came off a long time ago, but obviously when we originally started building this car, we didn't do that. So I'm gonna rip that off of there and then get back to uh, put some holes in this thing.
All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching me set everything on fire. Uh, but we got the hood pretty much set. We got that last rod in. I just pounded the hood down over a little bit. You can see a little bit of difference between my style. A little bit less give a damn. And Adam's style. He's got to look pretty. So, I got all the holes cut. Everything lines up well enough. I'm not overly concerned about it. Um, I got my computer tied up out of the way. So, the last things I have to do here for this show are just we got to secure my fuel pump and put my switches somewhere safe. Um, one thing I'm sure you guys have all heard a million times, but you can see right there. Always make sure that on any of these W bodies, get yourself a temp sensor, pull the plug, plug that into a dummy temp sensor, tie it out of the way so that you can avoid limp mode on these GM cars. If we haven't done that to Adams, we'll make sure to do that yet. So, while I was working on that, Adam was tinkering on his. I'm going to sneak this way because I got the welder in my way. Oh, you got the chains in. He doesn't like doing a triangle like I do. He's got to be difficult. Got a strap behind the seat. Uh, that's something I'll always recommend if you guys are just getting started. Always put a strap behind the seat. Keeps that bar from going into your back. Keep the seat forward. Keeps it and you get a better chance of it not breaking. Tank is mounted. Secure. Fuel lines, everything's run to where it's supposed to be. Um, we had to extend the return line. She wasn't quite long enough. Walk around. I still got a notch and pre-bend the rear of mine, but that's not too serious. Can do that as soon as we put her on the trailer. And battery box mounted to the floor. Battery cables are a little long on this one, but everything all nice, neat, pretty. Adam style. Switch box. Goose box right underneath the shifter there. That beautiful shifter. Everything's pretty well secured. Um, she fired right up, runs like a champ. Uh, this car, for some reason, since we've got it, has turned over really, really hard, but she's a little bit happier now, so should be about derby ready. Uh, do you have anything left to do on yours, Adam? Just going to clean the stuff out of the back seat, that's it. Yeah, a little bit of garbage. Other than that, that one's pretty much good to go. I may do a a little bit of welding on mine yet, haven't decided yet, but oh, I need to put, I always run a lap belt, so that's just sitting in there right now. I gotta get that bolted in, but all minor teeny teeny things as we get ready. We are uh, six days away from the Roberts Demolition Derby. You guys will probably be seeing this well after the fact as I'm just starting to upload videos now, um, but we'll get you caught up to real time. Just a matter of trying to get prepared for all this YouTube stuff, so Appreciate you guys following along. Uh, we'll see you in the next one.